let's take our first step. This is the ultrasound system. The small saphenous vein originates laterally from the dorsal venous arch of the foot and travels behind the lateral malleolus. I notice these tributaries and the great saphenous vein within the saphenous compartment. That's what we're following as you scan distally to the level of the ankle bone. Look closely and you could see that the deep femoral artery here in the right lower extremity is literally hanging on by a thread. At this point, I would be concerned either about an inflow issue involving the superficial femoral artery above the area of insulation, or perhaps something more distal occurring within the popliteal artery aneurysm itself. The first thing that we're going to talk about is adjusting our B-mode image. We've already learned how to adjust the overall gain, the TGC controls, and the frequency. Intravascular ultrasound, or IOS, is another ultrasound modality, but it is invasive. The crystals are mounted on the tip of the catheter. I'm now going to activate the spectral Doppler analysis. You can see hyperechoic structure mobile in the lumen of the vein, which is most likely the deep vein thrombosis. At this point, I will decrease my depth and measure the diameter of the great saphenous vein at the proximal thigh. The vein measures 0.73 centimeters. We'll perform a visual inspection first to see if there are any discrete areas of color flow reversal. 